What's up guys, John here. I'm a certified public accountant for over 20 years. I have worked with doctor, dentist, celebrity, and business owner. Today, I'm going to talk about four ways to make money. Please watch the video until the end so you know which kind of income will make you financially free and be able to retire early. So the first type of income is called the employee income. You have a job and you work for somebody else. I think most of us are familiar with this concept, right? So this is an active income because the amount of active work that you you do will determine how much income you will make. And the boss is take control of your schedules and your job function. Your boss will tell you what to do, what kind of work you need to do. So you basically have no control over it. You just have to follow the instructions and do the best you can. An example is a customer service rep working in the bank, right? So the bank tell you what to do and there's a set schedule every week. You cannot change that. Another example is you are a software engineer working for Facebook or Google. You go in every day, nine to five, and you work on certain project, and that's the type of, of, of work you will do. Or you're working as a waiter for a restaurant, right? You have to go in at certain hour, there's certain tasks you need to do, so your boss will basically take control of your time and, and your schedule and the amount of money you'll make. How, how is this income tax? It, employee income, it's called salary, is usually taxed at ordinary uh, income. You are subject to the regular uh, tax bracket. The more you make, the more get taxed. And usually you will easily get into the 25, 30, 35% bracket when, when you get salary income. Um, in terms of tax break, you're working as an employee, there's just not that many tax planning opportunity. The biggest one that I recommend my uh, client to do is to always maximize your 401k because that's a, you could put away a certain percent of money pre -tax, on a pre-tax basis. So for example, if you make 50000 a year and you put away 5000 into a 401k on a pre-tax basis, basically your income from 50000 minus the 5,000, so 45,000 is subject to income tax only. So that's one of the biggest tax bracket if you're an employee. Other than that, the other thing is you may put away flexible spending on a pre-tax basis or commuter benefit on a pre-tax basis in order to lower your taxable income. So planning, tax planning opportunity is limited. So that, that's why uh, we'll talk about other type of income where you have more opportunity. The second type of income is called self-employment income. You are the boss and you are an employee at the same time. That's what's called self-employed. You hire yourself. This is also an active income because the amount of active work that you do will determine how much money you will make. So if you're taking a vacation, you don't work for seven days, then you don't make income for that seven days. You need to be there in order to make the income. So example, if you could see the local uh, dentists, uh, they own their own business, they're typically self-employed. So if you, they don't see patient for seven days because they go away for vacation, then they don't really make money for the seven days. Another example, uh, uh, a self-employed lawyer, they have their own law office. So if they say, for example, they got sick, they didn't work for three days, and they didn't work on client cases, then they didn't work money. They didn't earn any money for that three days. So it's active type of income. Uh, in terms of tax, self-employment income is subject to both type of tax. There's income tax and the self-employment tax, which it's at very high, 15.3%. Self-employment tax basically is the FICA and Medicare tax, where if you work as an employee, you pay 50% of it, and the, the employer pay another 50. But if you're self-employed, which you are on the both side, you pay double, that's why it's 15.3%. And your income is typically reported on 
uh, something called Schedule C on your income tax return. However, if you are self-employed, you are subject to more uh, tax breaks, any business expense that are necessary to run your business, they are tax deductible. For example, the office expense, the computer expense, the commuting, the driving, car expense, meals, and any type of uh, repair and maintenance, any type of expenses that is necessary to run your business, they are tax deductible. So that's the big way to lower your taxable income. So for example, if you're a dentist, your gross income is 100,000 and your business expense is 60,000. So after that, a net, your net profit is 40,000. So only the 40,000 is subject to tax, not the whole 100,000. So that's a very big benefit of being a self employee. Another big one, a big tax deduction is a self employed pension plan, which I tell most of my clients to maximize it. A, a popular option is called SEP, S -E -P. This pension plan basically lets you deduct 25% of your net income as a pension deductions. So that's a big one, right? So that's why most of my self employed uh, client, I told them to every time if possible to maximize this pension plan contribution in order to lower their tax and also save for their retirement. The third type of income is called business income. In this, in this instances, you are the boss and you own a system. You hire people working for you. So what come to mind would be a, a business that run by itself. If you walk into a, a local uh, franchise business, such as Domino Pizza, McDonald's, uh, Dunkin' Donuts franchise, do you really see the boss, the owner working there? Which is rarely, they probably only come in the morning or maybe in the evening when they close the cash register and they're there to collect money. Otherwise, they own a system. They hire people working for them, right? And the employee, they all know what to do. Having a business income, it could be somewhat passive, depending on how well your business is established, right? So your income does not depending on your active work. So it can be passive. You could be going away for two weeks vacation and your business is still continue going. You continue to earn money. That's the beauty of it. Uh, let me give you more example. An owner of an established software company, it's also a successful business. It's, you could earn business income. You could go away for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, going to, into vacation, conferences. Your business continue to operate. It never stops. Right? So that's why owning a system. Uh, if you are the owner of a car dealership, same thing. When you go to a car dealership buying a car, do you talk to the owner of the dealership? No, you talk to the employee, the salesperson, you talk to the sales managers and vice versa and every like, like that. So you, you don't meet, you don't meet the owner because they are overseeing the business. They hire people working for them. How, how is the uh, business income tax? They usually, the income pass through a corporation, right? When you, have, when you have an established business, you usually have a corporate structures. And you're entitled to a lot more tax breaks. You have all the business expense that you could deduct. Plus, because of the corporate structure, there's certain uh, tax planning you could do, and you, you have a lot more opportunity to reduce your income tax, which is beyond the scope of this uh, video, which we can talk about in another video. But I just want to let you know, the tax planning opportunity is a lot more. The fourth type of income is called investment income. In this case, you're the boss, you are an investor in a business, or you are an investor in a rental real estate or in a financial assets like stocks and bonds. You have money working hard for you. 
So it's a very passive income. So example, uh, stock investors, right? They could be, they're different kind of stock investors. They could be passive or active, but we're here, we're talking about people who have a sizable portfolio and they just invest in stocks and bond and they only work on very limited hour just to monitor the investment. For the most part, the money is working for them. Another example is real estate investors. In the beginning, they might be spending time looking at all the deal location and the structure, all that. But once it's done and it's rented it out, for the most part, they're also just overseeing the whole operation. So they work very limited on it. So they are very passive and you earn passive income. How is it investment income tax? For the most part, if you get capital gain, they are taxed at a very favorable 15 to 20% tax rate, regardless of the amount of, of, of it's not in a tax bracket. The 15 to 20% is very attractive, uh, very low tax, uh, tax rate, right? So, um, and you also are entitled to many more tax break and tax planning opportunity. Remember the, there's a famous saying from the greatest investor, Warren Buffett. He once says the amount of tax rate he's, he's, he's paying is lower than his secretary because his secretary is earning an employee income. It's subject to ordinary income tax and tax bracket, which can easily bump up to 30, 35%, right? So imagine a billionaire only paying a federal tax between 15 to 20%, right? That's, that's, that's the, that's the, the beauty of earning that investment income. So to, to summarize on my key point, here are two takeaways. First, the concept of active and passive income, right? The active income, meaning you have to be actively involved and spending time to earn that income. The passive is the income coming in, regardless the amount of hour you work. So, the, 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 the goal is that over time, you want to have more passive income than active income. That's how you achieve financial freedom. The definition of financial freedom could mean as long as your passive income equal to or exceed your living expense, then you are financially free. The second takeaway is if you start your career with either an employee or self-employee, you want to gradually work on having a system so you can hire people working for you. Then you could gradually shift to work earning business income or investment income. That way you could achieve financial freedom and be able to retire early. Okay, I would like to get some feedback from you. Please comment below. Let me know what type of income you're currently earning and how you plan on shifting into passive. I also do pri private financial and tax consultation. For any inquiry, my email is listed in the description section below. I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future episode. And uh, I would like to hear from you also. Let me know what other topic you like me to present in the future video. All right. Thank you.